Hey everyone, welcome back to Scrummy. First up, before I start doing my baking, I just want to say thank you to everyone for following me. I've had so many messages, comments, beautiful pictures of cakes over the last two weeks. My channel has really grown and I owe you that. Thanks so much. Please share my videos so we can get more people watching them. I just love to see people baking, especially people who've never baked before. So today I'm going to make scones. I'm making a blueberry and lemon scone. These are really nice change to the traditional fruit scone or glassy cherry scones. Of course, if you prefer something else, you could have a raspberry and lemon scone, or you could even add some lime zest to the blueberries instead of the lemon zest, and they go wonderful together. Okay, so we're just gonna start now, and the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add self-raising flour to a medium-sized bowl. You can use plain flour, but if you use plain flour, it's important to add about one teaspoon of baking powder for every 100 grams of flour. Into this, I'm gonna add in some salt, some baking powder, because I like to add a little extra baking powder to self-raising flour. Now I'm gonna add some sugar. Give everything a really good mix in. Okay, now for the butter. I like to use frozen butter and I pop the butter into the freeze for about half an hour before I use it in my scones. I like to use a box grater to grate in the butter. I use frozen butter for two reasons. The first one is when I grate it in, it's much easier to rub it into the flour. And the second one is frozen butter does help the scones to rise. And now I'm just going to rub the butter into the flour until I get like a rough breadcrumb consistency. You can see how easy that is to get it rubbed in. All right, I'm happy with that and that's how it should look. Okay, next up, I'm gonna add in the zest of one lemon, so we'll give it a lovely flavor, the nice lemony flavor we're looking for, and also two tablespoons of lemon juice. So let's just mix that up. All right, now we're gonna add in the blueberries. Blueberries are very firm, so add them to scones at this stage, it, they're perfect. Now, if you're using frozen fruit or raspberries, don't add them now. I'll tell you later on in the video when is a good time to add them so that they don't go into mush. So just get them in there and mix them in. All right, so that's fine. I've got one egg here and some milk, and I'm just gonna beat these together before I add it to the mixture. Now just a little tip for you before you add it, don't add it all, add about three quarters of the liquid and then mix it in and just see how your mixture is. Some countries the flour is a little bit different to here in Ireland so you may have to add more liquid or less liquid depending on where you are. So I'm just going to add about three quarters of that now, mix it up and I find a fork is really good for making your scones and then I just use my hands to bring it together. Just stir it around and be gentle with the mixture. So just use a little bit of flour, pop it on top on your, both your hands and bring it together into a ball. Just like that. And there you have it, it's come together very nicely. So just pop that down there. I'm gonna add a little bit of flour so it doesn't stick. Just knead it a little, to, not too much, just to bring it together and shape it into a round circle like that. And we want this about, maybe about one inches deep. Now I did mention the frozen fruit and the raspberries. I would add frozen fruit and raspberries at this stage. What I'd do is I would pat that down a little bit more. Then I would add the frozen fruit or the fresh raspberries to one side of my dough and I would fold over the other half on top that doesn't have the fruit and just pat it down gently, maybe knead it a little bit and then cut out your scones. All right, so I'm ready to cut these out. I'm not using a cutters today. I'm just gonna cut these into triangles. So I'm gonna cut them like a cake. You can use any type of cutters on this. The bigger the cutter you use, the less scones you'll have. So if you use a smaller cutter, you'll have lots of scones. I find this way that I'm doing it, a nice way of doing scones. They look nice too when you have them baked. So I'm just gonna pop a bit of flour on my knife. This will help stop the dough from sticking. And cut across this way. 
Now we just need to get these onto a baking tray. All right, so pop them onto a large baking tray that's lined with greaseproof paper. Leave enough room around them so that they can rise and spread out. I'm just going to brush a little milk on these and I've got some of my milk and egg mixture left over. So I'm going to use this. If you don't have any, just use some plain milk. The milk and egg will give them a nice golden color. Just make sure it doesn't drip down the sides because that can affect them rising. All right, that's perfect. Now I'm going to add a couple of blueberries to the top of them. This is optional. You don't have to do this if you don't want. It's nice to have a few blueberries on top. So I just put in about three. And finally, just sprinkle over some um, granulated brown sugar. This sugar isn't as fine as castor sugar. And these are ready for the oven. We're gonna bake these for about 15 to 20 minutes. Just keep an eye on them and all the temperatures will follow in the slide. So let's get these into the oven now. These are fully baked, just look at them. A beautiful golden color, smell fantastic, and a nice rise on them too. All the things we want in a scone. Now we're gonna let these cool for about 20 to 30 minutes, and then I'm just gonna add a nice lemon glaze to the top of them. All right, everyone, we're ready to decorate these now with our lemon glaze. I've mixed together the icing sugar or powdered sugar with a few teaspoons of lemon juice and I've popped it into a piping bag. If you don't have a piping bag, you could use a freezer bag or just use a spoon and just sprinkle it over the scones and that's perfect. So now I'm just going to pipe this glaze on my scones, just like that. A nice pretty design on them. And there you have them, all done. The icing does add a lovely finish to the scones. It is an optional step if you want to add it. Okay, so we're going to let those sit for about 10 to 15 minutes for the icing to dry fully. These are ready, so I'm just going to cut into one so you can see what they're like. I like to have these with just some plain butter. They'd be beautiful with cream and some lemon curd served with them. Just look at those, a lovely soft inside, packed with beautiful blueberries and they smell gorgeous. All right, let's get some butter on these scones. And there you have them. Those are my blueberry and lemon scones with just good old fashioned butter served on them. No better way. All right, everyone, that's it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Try out the scones. Please subscribe and follow my page if you haven't already. It'd be great if you could share my videos so lots more people can see them and try out my recipes. Take care, happy baking everyone, enjoy. See you soon.